Andy. Hi. We're uh, doing conspiracies today, right? Yeah, conspiracies today. Things like the, the lunar landing being false, uh, stuff like that. Yeah. What about our, our, our conspiracies? What, what do you mean, our conspiracies? Well, you know, Mark. Mark? Yeah. You ever notice that he's never, never flips a line? What are you talking about? He screws up all the time. Well, yeah, but none of that ever makes it to air. It's like he's doing some sort of fancy editing. You mean like he's pulling the strings? You know what I think he's doing? I think he's doing a fantastic job. Hey, well, that was nice of you to say. Wait. I didn't mean to say that. No, 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 no. You know what I think? You know, I think Mark's cool. I agree. That's your point. Wait. No, no, no. I didn't mean to say that. It's Mark. He's great. Damn it! Hello and welcome to another episode of Epic. Today we are talking about conspiracy theories and with me here to talk about conspiracy theories is Nuke Chats. Hello. Fred, Tech, the Clockwork Doctor. Hello. Andy. Hey. Joel. How's it going? And Richard. I, I need feel, more names like Fred does. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, I feel less fancy. Like, I do. You guys have so many names. I lose track of them all. I just <laughs> think I <laughs> put them all out there and you can sort them out later. We have to think of cool nicknames for each other. We'll call this guy the Dirty Mime. <laughs> I kind of like Space Pimp. I'm pointing at Joel. Space, <laughs> space Pimp. Pimp. Space, space Pimp works. works. Uh, space Pimp. Uh, okay, so... Pimp for short. Jump right into uh, conspiracy theories here today. Uh, maybe we should preface this by talking... Um, we're not advocating any conspiracy theories on this show. No. Uh, matter of fact, most of the ones that we don't explicitly say are true probably aren't. Uh, we're more of a, it's more of a ridicule show. And Here's the way we'll know. If we catch on one that is true, we won't be airing anymore. Yes. If we suddenly disappear, you might not ever happened. see us. If like, this yeah. is our last show, thanks for listening. You've been yeah. a great audience. <laughs> that being said, they probably won't hear this show then. Yeah. All right. Who wants to jump in first? Don't be scared. We're all a little bit afraid. Just a small amount of us says, yeah, maybe not. They might be watching. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. let, let's start off. Are there any connects in here? Some what? <laughs> Canucks? Canucks. That's, that's my number one, actually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? Segue. <laughs> I'll start then. Apparently, the Microsoft Connect has fine print saying that the company is not responsible for any surveillance done by the U.S. government. Really? So, basically, the U.S. government itself might be tapping into your Xbox Connect. Not so much with the PlayStation Eye, I guess. But, you know. Yeah, uh I believe part of the premise of Paranormal Activity 4 yeah. was that ghosts were using the Kinect no, to it's, sur um, use surveillance. No, it was so that you could... There were certain scenes in it that it was tracking them. Uh -huh. So it was like with the green dots replaced, it was actually tracking tracking out of the spirits. Uh -huh. that's, that's the premise of it. Well, here's the cool thing is, is if that were true and then they were tracking you with this... Um, I saw kind of a technical demo online. Some guy managed to create a three-dimensional mapping feature with it. Where yes. It started off with like a video of this guy talking, and he was talking about what his project was. And he, and he goes, check this out. And he rotates the scene. And the video we were looking at was filmed with the Kinect, and it was actually a three-dimensional, mm -hmm. fully mapped uh, environment. Now, uh, almost the day that they came out, they were yeah. cracked and hacked, and it's a cheap... Uh, stereo camera setup for anybody doing any sort of 3D work. Uh, a ripped open Kinect is uh, it's gold mine. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And so if you think about that, if they're spying on you and recording what you do, they can actually get a three dimensional model of your wherever you have your Kinect set up. So if they were going to you know take you in the middle of the night, uh, they would know exactly. They'd know where the laundry was, so they wouldn't trip. Yeah. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Great. Is there a GPS unit in the Kinect? Because if that was. It's well, you called know, your IP address. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that is kind of scary. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now they know your house, they know your layout, they know everything on your walls, they know what's in your DVD collection. I'll say, Actually, which, which means if they can track your location, they can easily find the blueprints, which are public record. Now, well, or maybe they could just watch you when you're sitting in front of the TV in a short skirt. Uh, I'm looking at you, Mark. 
Um, actually, no, that, that, that actually reminded me of uh, there was a, there's a vlog that I watch online. and uh, uh, Wow, there's a leap I don't want to understand. I know. <laughs> well, it's two roommates, and they were talking about the, 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 the Kinect on the Xbox. They were trying to do the voice commands for it, and it wasn't working right. And, and one of them said, I don't trust that thing, because I was watching TV the other day sitting on the floor in a skirt, and I watched the eye move down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I will say that... Uh, if anyone were to be watching me in my living room all day, I'm sorry. Um, you, I'm sorry for the boredom. Mm. <laughs> my life is really not that exciting. Mm. Mm. Uh, my, can, yeah, I have a connect at home. It doesn't reach back to my couch. Like any gestures or motions that I do back of the couch, it doesn't track any of it. I had to get up and walk up to the TV. Yeah, but your oh, couch no. is a mile away from your TV, so. Yeah. Also, that's it's... the whole point of the connect is that you have to be close and moving around. And actually get up off your up. butt and do yeah. something. Yeah, that's probably why I never use it. Is there <laughs> anything else that we wanted to cover today? Um, uh, willingly, maybe not. We can take a, a, a trip back in time to the moon landing. The moon landing. Moon. That's a classic. This you know, is a classic. Have you the moon landing everywhere? has been faked. It's all filmed uh, uh, on... Uh, <gasps> it's all filmed. They got to him. They got the to him in that brief second. For, they so. did. The show is now compromised. Abort! <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there's the, the big controversy saying the moon landing was faked and mm. that it was filmed on a was it soundstage in New Mexico or somewhere ever. You know, I worked with somebody who would defend that to oh. the death. He would go into arguments that the moon landing was faked. And his whole basis was, I don't believe we had the technology then. I think we do now, but we didn't then. And the only reason we haven't gone back now is because then it would be obvious that they faked it. Uh, but here's the thing. The thing is, we did have the technology. There's not a whole lot of technology involved. There's a lot of precision work involved. But really, it comes down to, and I think Fred could probably back me up on basic ballistics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, a they, certain w- amount they of force. Went to, they went to the moon. Mm-hmm. On slide rules and pencil drawings. Yes. Mm-hmm. And that's even more amazing to think about. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That Actually, they were able to plot those trajectories well, with just simple math. Mm-hmm. Wasn't there one of the astronauts, I, I don't know if it was on one of the moon missions, but on re-entry there was a computer that failed and he managed to recalculate the re-entry mm-hmm. angle with a watch and where the moon was or the stars were or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, managed to get it. Uh, Apollo thirteen, wasn't it? No, no. It no. Um, in, uh, in the history of the shuttle program, the the entire reentry plan of the shuttle, like the shuttle <laughs> enters the atmosphere over Hawaii and lands in New Mexico or Florida, and that entire sequence is all flown by computers. Mm-hmm. And in the entire history of the space shuttle program, there's only been one pilot fly the entire thing manually. And he was a Marine Corps pilot who wanted the ultimate challenge. And he, so they just let him do it? Yeah. Because there's, there's a series of, of turns that they do to mm. bleed off speed as they enter the atmosphere. And there's only one guy. There's only one person who's ever done it themselves. Other than Here, that, it's all the machines. Thing. It's very possible that he may not have asked. Yeah. Before, <laughs> hold on. Yeah. I, hold on. Hey, everybody, hold on to your drinks. I want to try something. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Barrel roll. <laughs> <laughs> and, and we should keep in mind the original, the, the, the moon... The original moon pods or whatever that they went up with originally didn't come down in these really – it was a splashdown, right? Yeah. So they basically came down, went into the atmosphere, went for a ways, deployed a parachute. That's how they bled off mm-hmm. their – there was nothing really complicated about it. And they splashed down in the ocean. So they had a pretty big target to hit. Mm-hmm. And they, I don't know, send a ship out and locate it. Yep. And yeah, the reason the- that there hasn't been any trips back is because there's no money in it. No, there is no money in it. Uh, it was pretty cool to currently. say we did it once, but it's not really cool to say – we did it a third, fourth, fifth time. It's just like, all right, mm. what, what moon rocks? Apparently, they're good portal conductors, but other than that, <laughs> kind of there's cool. there's very little out there that uh, as a resource that needs to be brought back. Uh, yes. the, the the movie Moon said that they were mining helium three to use as fuel, mm-hmm. but until we can start to extract that and in any quantities or use it, there's actually yeah. there is a a couple of companies that have started recently that are are looking at. Uh, mining asteroids. asteroids. Yeah. Uh, and, and thank you, one James One of them said Cameron. they wanted to go back to the moon because there was a, a kind of a new technology to build like a permanent settlement with like this inflatable something or other that they would build yeah. onto. The infl- so, and the, and the inflatable castles? castles? Mm. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah kind of like a space awesome. bouncy castle. Yeah. And getting you to the moon, it, it's not really much harder than launching a satellite. I'm. Huh. 
Lots of all the hard part it's is getting stuff. To, to escape velocity and getting up to the proper orbit and everything. Yeah, you just need to carry either another stage or more fuel that once you're in orbit, you just kick add yourself a, out. Add enough speed to kick out of orbit. Right. Mm-hmm. And then it's, uh, I mean, you, your, your momentum will carry you all the way to the moon. And mm-hmm. the gravitational pull of the moon is actually pretty low compared to Earth. You could. One sixth. <laughs> yep. You could do some, some stuff there. Uh, right. L. Gordon Cooper. Is, is the name of the guy that actually oh. manually flew back. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. So, Go, Mr. Cooper. To move this along, mm-hmm. uh, we can talk about another one, which is space-related. Uh, this goes to uh, kind of the opposite of instead of leaving the planet somewhere else, something coming here. Uh, I'm speaking of the Roswell, New Mexico oh, aliens. Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's one of the more popularized... Uh, is that tied in with Area 51? Yes. Yeah, the no. whole, yes. whole deal. And there's actually a TV show called Roswell. Was. Yeah, or was. It, yeah. it had a clever uh, spin on it. It did, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I really like that series. The clever spin being that the Roswell crash was real, and they left pods, and then the pods hatched in like the 80s, and they were kids. Yeah. And then and suddenly sexy teens. Grew up as Wasn't sexy one of them teenagers. Catherine yeah. Heigl? Yep. Yes. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> that beauty cannot be made on Earth. Huh. That's funny. We can keep trying. I have another conspiracy theory relating to a television show, Cancellation of Firefly, that had to have been orchestrated oh. by a conspiracy. Oh, well, Fox. So, I think what Enough happened sense. there is Joss Whedon pissed someone off at Fox to the point where this guy is just going to hold a grudge, and he's going he's gonna to pretend not to. And say, oh, yeah, let's do a new show. Come on here. We'll wait. And that's going to be awesome. And then right when it gets popular, he's going to cancel it. Maybe it wasn't. And, uh, and then the next it time it comes along, he's going he's gonna to say, oh, no, I'm over that now, Joss. It's fine. We're going to come on. We'll, we'll come on back. It's like uh, uh, Lucy and the football with Charlie Brown. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it, there's been talk recently that maybe it wasn't Joss. Maybe it was Summer Glau. That she uh, flipped out and killed everyone? No, no. That somebody's canceling every show that she's on. Oh. Mm. Aww. Uh, no, Termi- I think it's uh, Terminator. Uh, before that was Firefly, and most recently she was on another one that was just that got canned recently. Yeah, but too. Terminator got two oh. seasons. Terminator got two seasons. Yes. Oh, she was on the Cape as well. The Cape and yeah. uh, uh, Alphas was another one that she was on recently. She was on Alphas. Yeah, she very, at the very end. She oh. just came on and wow. she was on forty four hundred too. Was that canceled? I don't know. I haven't 44? finished it yet. What's forty four hundred? <laughs> The, the 4,400, it was uh, the 4,400 people that were abducted suddenly came back to Earth, just showed up one day. Ah. So basically, space aliens came down, sucked up that many people, all of a sudden, boop, back on Earth, and there's no one left. I think they were, they were abducted over a long period yeah. of time. Yeah. Okay. And then there was just one day, it was just like, oh, there they all are in a field. Yep. And nobody's left on Earth? Or? No, people no, are left on Earth. Like, uh, yeah, I lied just, the last they're part. in a field. They just get the, the aliens like, nah, we don't want you anymore. And they just. All done. Well, reject. We, We're <laughs> done probing you. Return it's, to uh, Our alien governments canceled their zoo. So huh. we had to put you back. Cut back. But it, it, it's, it's a catch and release program. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, now they all have like these little metal tags around their wrist or neck. So we've heard a conspiracy nice from, and from uh, Thor the Thunder God. We've heard one <laughs> from the Dirty Mime. And. Richard. Baseball hat guy. Uh, what about what about Pretty Bonnet? Have we have we heard one from you yet? <laughs> well, as I was going through and looking at all the different conspiracies, I found a very interesting tie. Uh, so many conspiracy theories draw back mm-hmm. to the concept of the New World Order. Mm-hmm. That a lot of these conspiracy theorists believe that there is a New World Order coming around. That uh, there are people in charge that are deciding these things. So conspiracy theories, including contrails. Yes, yes. No, no, no. What they believe is that uh, when you see a plane go overhead, the trail is not crystallization of um, water molecules and and other things. It is uh, chemicals uh, that is being sent to fall into our atmosphere so that we are going to be easier controlled. And more malleable to suggestion. I thought uh, that was Harp that did that. Uh, that that's another one. <laughs> um, the there is the uh, fluoride in the water. Uh, what fluoride is doing to us, according to these theorists, is it's dumbing us down again, making us easier to control. Um, the the Illuminati, the Freemasons, they're all part of this. Uh, AIDS was developed in a lab as a way to control the population. 
and its first test was in Africa, and that's why it spread from there. There is the whole idea that there is uh, concentration camps built under the Denver airport. Yes, oh, yeah, because there's a bunch of... One. <laughs> what? There's of apparently what? like a, a, oh, yeah. a, a giant field full of these plastic coffins that are just yes. stacked upon. You like can see them. They're FEMA coffins. So that FEMA will, once we have a military state, FEMA will then start killing people because we've got too many people and they believe that these plastic containers that FEMA had stored for whatever reason uh, are, are coffins. So there's yes. actual purpose, evidence of these is, plastic containers? They, they, oh, they yeah. are plastic yeah. containers. They're yes. for, they're not, I don't believe that they are coffins. I no, believe no, that they they're are, for transporting um, uh, but something. Could, but, but, yeah. but here's the thing is, is if you're going to run a death camp, yeah. why would you bother putting people in coffins when you could just dig a big hole yeah, and, and especially when the, the, the or, camp under the Denver airport is big enough to take care of it all. Yeah. Or yeah. you could shred the bodies up and make Soylent green. Mm. People. Now with delicious. 50% more girls. Right. <laughs> Extra delicious. <laughs> That's right. There's a lot of very inappropriate yep. and actually, jokes here. <laughs> yeah. I'm quoting The Simpsons. It's yes. all I'm glad good. there's a girl on the panel because this is all guys. I think this would be unacceptable. Yeah. And that it's a girl who said 50% more, more girls. girls. Yeah. <laughs> it was Mark. And also uh, to elaborate on the whole uh, concentration camp thing, it's apparently eight stories. Mm. Wow. So eight stories underground of a major airport. That's straight on Umbrella Corporation. Shh, well, isn't that the... You know what, the Mark, it was nice they, knowing you. They don't like it when you refer to them by name. No. So, the conspiracy theory that actually turned out to be true. Ooh. Partially true. There's a few of them. Well, the, the, the core nugget is true, and then people take it into other directions. The, the CIA had a project in the 50s, 60s, and early 70s called Project MK Ultra. Mm-hmm. Being the best code. project name ever. Oh yes, totally. They all better than Blue Daffodil. Blue mm. pe- and Blue Peacock and all mm. the the British ones were always color and then animal. Blue Peacock was a chicken powered nuclear landmine. <laughs> it's it's true. <laughs> I'll explain it later. It really really existed. It was a chicken powered nuclear bomb. But Project wow. MK in Ult- partnership with KFC. Mm. <laughs> project MK ki- yeah, chicken. Man, you thought you thought their spicy chicken sandwich was spicy before. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, try this one. <laughs> MK Ultra was an umbrella project that had many other projects underneath it, uh, which were CIA mind and thought control experiments. And they go from the very, very mundane to the very, very weird and bizarre. And in the 80s and 90s, they declassified thousands of documents that prove that a lot of these experiments really did happen. Some of them were were things like trying to figure out a way to send LSD into war zones to like fog them over a war zone to disorient the enemy before a major attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you can find videos on the internet of uh, soldiers under the effect of LSD trying to see tr- try, uh, as they're trying to find a dosage. But when you're fogging it from the air, it's impossible to control the dose. So they drop the whole plan uh, all the way to some very bizarre ones. And it wasn't just the United States. Canada and other countries were also involved in these experiments. And there's some very bizarre ones that Canada had at mental hospitals where they would find patients. Uh, one of them was trying to do things like hypnotic suggestion. So they would induce a person into a coma and then blast speakers into their room while they slept in a coma to see if the suggestion would take when they woke up. And there's lots of stories of abuse of patients. Um, You know, imagine being in a coma or being asleep for three weeks while a speaker blares one word at you repeated 24 hours a day so that when you wake up, they see if you remember the word. And you're like, yes, I would like fries with that. Yeah. And these were <laughs> Always. smoke, smoke, smoke. Right. <laughs> so so the guys, uh, these were all done under the guise of medical treatments or medical experiments. There was the, I'm not sure if it was under MK Ultra, but the U.S. government also had one where they took, uh, called it was the Tuskegee experiment, where they took homeless men and infected them with syphilis mm. and kept them in a lock ward to watch their minds degrade from the final stage of syphilis and then eventually die from this untreated uh, disease. Wow. Yeah. Uh, If you've ever seen the movie Men Who Stare at Goats, that's what they're talking about. It's a a wonderful dark comedy about MKUltra and its its other projects. But yeah, very similar to to that movie. And Mm kind of scary. Yeah, the more you read up on it, the more scary it gets. And Mm. you could just sit there going from link to link to link (laughs) on the internet and spend, you know, weeks reading about this. That's part of their uh, experiment. (laughs) Exactly. Whoa. 
And even a bunch so of YouTube the- is still part of the experiment because I will go on there to watch one thing four hours later. I'm still yeah. there. Yeah. And the longer you're like, on I just YouTube. wanted to watch that Felicia Day video, and next thing I know, I'm. Why am and I you always end up in the really dark places of YouTube as well, too. Yeah, it's like it's like you start off watching, hey, look, there's a cute video about a kitten, and then you know an hour later you're watching like I don't know some person open heart surgery yogurt, eating yogurt off their head or that that was actually a commercial. Really, you can, yes. you can see here that even the, the documents they released in the '90s, even the ones they released, are all heavily redacted. Oh yeah, yeah. They, there's. Uh, Almost no unredacted mm. parts. I wonder who It's does almost that. like looking at the UFO documents. Have you ever seen <laughs> Whoever them? actually is the guy who goes and highlights all that to cover it up. Mm. Um, that would be a fun that job. That would be an awesome They're probably job. dead by well, now. Yeah. And car- Once from, they finish, they fumes. get boom. Yeah. <laughs> or that, yes. Or there was a document. Wasn't there a document a while back? I can't remember if it was like the Canadian government or the U.S. government that released it. It had a whole bunch of redacted sections, but they released it in PDF. And apparently they blacked it yes. out <laughs> electronically. Um, I hate to say it, so that was probably Canadian. It was Actually, like they highlighted the text and set the background to be black. Oh, yeah, it was black text and black God. background. So if you highlighted the rows, you'd see what was written. Actually, <laughs> oh, wow. um, last year for Fun Drive, we had a special event event called Strange Encounters, where we had Stanton Friedman, who's local to the area, come on and talk about all sorts of UFOs and things like that. And he was talking about that Exactly. Uh, there was one with PDF, but he was also saying how when you would get printed documents, there are ways to get see through the redacted. And he would tell people that during lectures. And then basically they got wise and fixed it and told him, stop telling people. <laughs> Wait, you, you never you never marker a document. Yeah. And then give a person that copy. You no. marker it and then photocopy, photocopy it. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And give exactly. them the photocopy. Mm-hmm. Then destroy the original. Yep. I've actually done, you know, there a whiteout first, then marker on top of that as well too. Mm-hmm. But you're right. Wait, still, what are you redacting? You don't want to know. I mean, <laughs> I can't tell you. If it, but if you have the original, if you have whiteout and oh, yeah. you have the original, you can always turn it around and you'll be able to find out what it actually said. Well, I see the embossing from the pen yeah. or whatever else. Yeah, it's really cool. All right, so another one from corporate America. You want to know how crazy corporations are? This <laughs> is nuts. Apparently, you know, the Jeffrey Dahmer was actually a hired actor portrayed to, to play the part of a crazy serial killer in order for the Ambrosia uh, Chocolate Company to uh, tear down one of their buildings, rebuild the factory, all with... Uh, trying to find the actual wording here. Uh, okay. So, yeah. Uh, so, they knock down the factory so they can uh, rebuild a new one with illegal tax breaks. I wow. see. So the whole so the whole thing about the Jeffrey Dahmer uh, killings and the other atrocities that this individual apparently did. Nope. I actor. Found, I found a website speaking of, of actors. There is a guy out there who runs this whole blog devoted to the idea that everyone we see on the media, everything we see on TV is faked stage and acted by a small core group of actors and that it's all the media trying to control everything that we see. Mm. And he goes so far as to spot which celebrity is, which actor is this real person. Uh, the only one that, that I can remember is the Pope, uh, uh, Benedict. Benedict, the mm-hmm. one who just, who just left, uh, is actually Robert Blake. Beretta. (laughs) And then he posts side-by-side pictures and he uses all of the facial measurements to prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that it's this. The the latest one is the, you know, the the Sandy Hook school shooting. Mm. Mm. Oh, I've heard about that. Yeah, some of the the families that were there giving impact statements look very, very, very similar to families who reacted uh, when their houses were destroyed during Katrina. Mm-hmm. Oh well, that proves it. They're the same people. They're fake. They're 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 staged yeah. actors. Actually, Fred, I've seen one of that too. Unfortunately, too, it was one of the families of actually one of the kids. Yeah. Um, and they were and they were smiling and they were laughing and it's like they're do these people look like the people who just lost lost a child and all their friends to this horrible horrible situation that happened. Mm. But when you played the actual clip that was taken from, they were telling stories <clears throat> stories about their child. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, like, that was terrible. Just horrific. That, 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 horrific. That's... There was also uh, yes. somebody had created a Facebook page of one of yeah. the teachers and was posting uh, during and things like that, uh, you know, when, when she was supposed to have been dead. And but it was very obvious that you could go back and see that it w- had been created like that day. Mm. Yeah. But yeah, there was like all sorts um, of there's there's some really there was a, sick there was yeah, there was another one like that, too. It was a Facebook group. Um 
basically, you know, well, basically memory of everyone, one there, everything else. But it was created like a year before. Mm. How do you explain that? Easily. They changed the name of the page. Yeah. It yes. was a pre existing page that wasn't being used. So yep. the owner of it had decided. Let's do this Which, instead. by the way, you can do all the time, and oh, yeah. that's what they, they normally do in order to uh, scam and spam you. Yeah, they get you to like a page that says, "You know, I hate baby killers," and next thing you know, you're signed up to get you like baby killers. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love baby killers. Exactly. Now there's no other track for you, Mark. Yes, I could take this totally. Everything yeah. that's being said here, I could take totally out of context. That's a, so that's an awesome um, quotation. Just put it on the on the on the, on the main page. <laughs> so <love> what? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, this also reminds me of the whole thing. Uh, Jim Morrison isn't dead. Nope. Neither is Elvis. Uh, new, Elvis new, did new. faked his death, but he actually died in the '90s. That's sad. Um, and 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 Paul is dead. Let's Paul. not forget about Paul is dead. Which Paul? Paul McCartney. Oh, yeah. He has yeah, not played with the Beatles since the 60s. Or it's definitely was it. <clears throat> but no. they, they... Apparently he died quite early on and they replaced yeah. him with a lookalike. Yeah. It sounded like. And they were making references to it in a lot of their different album covers and things like that. Like, that's he's why... out of step on the album for Abbey Road yeah, and, and he's, he's barefoot. Barefoot one and... Yep. Yeah. yeah. And oh, if you really? play the songs backwards, you hear Paul is dead. Uh, apparently on Reddit, and, some oh, guy posted a picture... Uh, and and if you look on that Abbey Road cover in the background, there's some guy standing on the corner, mm-hmm. and the, that guy actually posted a picture of himself and like an alternate picture from the, from that that time, because uh, he was that guy standing back there. Oh, cool! Was on Reddit, yeah. It's yes. Kinda... Tangent. And also, you know, they're John Lennon knew too much, so the CIA actually had him knocked off. Mm, yeah. I've to, heard that one. Back, back to the moon landing. Yeah. A- Apollo one. Uh, Never took it was uh, it never took off. It burned on the pad and killed the three astronauts aboard. Um, and they say that they had to kill one of the astronauts, Gus Grissom, because he was going to go public with the faked moon landings, and that the whole Apollo project was a fake. So they killed him on the pad to shut him up. Sounds an expensive way to kill someone. Yeah, and yeah. incredibly disrespectful to one of the Mercury yeah. Seven. So I'm not, I'm not a big fan of that one. No, I. I I'm going to go back to uh, the video clip online of oh who was it? Is it Buzz Aldrin or <laughs> the one where he punched? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I forget who it was that I punched. I think it him. was Buzz. Was it Buzz? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. Th- there was That's kind of how I feel. Uh, show I, notes material right there. Yeah. 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 Essentially, yeah. someone could you should see a, a picture of that right down here on your screen right now. Right. Uh, Click on here? this link. Oh, yeah, there? in the under in yeah. the underpants. There. What? Or that's what they what? call it. The underbar, the underpants. They call that the underpants? The doobly do. Andy calls that's it Andy the underpants. Calls you got to get up get the, up on your YouTube link. The doobly do is, is, is way down. It, it's that's the, true. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I thought you were referencing the doobly do. No, no. Uh, yeah. it's, it, YouTube, if you're watching this okay. on YouTube, we have an interactive section where there's a right. bar right around this right. area right here. Down. Which down. now works. Uh, covering the mics. <laughs> Um, yeah. But yeah, uh, no, I thought In you were talking about the nether region of your screen, the, the underbar, or mm. is, is it and called just the be- underbar, or the doobly do, or the underpants, or it's you- all a conspiracy. And because I enjoy making it, our indeed. our editor do extra work, he can also put links here, here, and put word bubbles all around here. Damn so you. enjoy. <laughs> <Right>. Don't <laughs> poke the bear. Now you realize those are all going to be pointing at like you know Powerpuff it, why, Girls, the bear, Little lick Pony, you. and. <laughs> So, uh, getting back to the New World Order, by the way, one of the my favorite ones uh, I didn't get to mention yet is uh, the alien lizard people. That's right. There are alien oh. lizard people. I, I can top you. Trust me. Go for that, it. That, the that, Slovene? That, kind of. Okay. <laughs> and um, they, are, they are here uh, controlling the earth, and uh, apparently the royal family are alien lizard people. It explains a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A little bit. Yep, yep. Bit. I, I thought bit. that was really interesting. Um, I think my favorites are the population control or dumbing people down, though. Yeah. I definitely like that. I, I think it would be kind of cool that so if some of these were true. Because it kind of turns us into sci fi world. And, yeah, yeah, really. Now, since I said top you, these two go in, they're complete opposites, but they mm-hmm. tie into uh, World War II was completely staged. Mm. Not just the Holocaust. World War II itself never happened. Yep. My grandparents, if they were still alive, I'm sure they would be beating me right now if I said that out loud to them. It was all done by the Illuminati, which, by the way, for a secret society, they suck at being secret. They really do. Everyone, they put their tag everyone really everywhere. Everyone knows about it. Yeah. Yeah. Going on with that, uh, Hitler and, you know, well, actually, Hitler and actually uh, some of his generals escaped 
to the Antarctic in submarines uh, to live with super with with you know there's some uh, yeah. <laughs> so Hitler and some of his associates. They actually escaped to the Antarctic in a submarine in order to live with a super advanced alien race who resides in Hollow Earth. Uh, hollow Earth. Wow. wow. No, I have a question. All those could I've heard this one before. Does, does, are they living with Superman? Because that's where his Fortress of Solitude is. No, no, his is in the Arctic. Arctic. This oh, is. Oh, the they went Antarctic. To the Arctic, and now they're right. in. Okay. Now they're under. Yeah, but they're in the middle of the Earth now. Right. right? They're in the Hollow Earth. Yeah. Our editor yeah. can also find a link to the Hollow Earth Society. Mm-hmm. Is planning an expedition, and I saw they they had a website where they were looking for money. They were going to the North Pole to find the hole in the Earth to go live with the dinosaurs. Yep. That makes cool. Mm. We can put a link up here. So then, yeah. Journey to the Center of the Earth is actually a documentary. <laughs> 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 mm. I got a Canadian one. All right. Ooh. How's there, that exist? Are, there are no Canadian conspiracy theories. Well, besides the 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 nicotine and the Timmy's coffee, but we won't go into that one. That's true. That's, that's not, not that's a not conspiracy. A, that's, that's real. That's just fact. <laughs> it's just delicious. So everybody here knows the Avro Arrow. Mm-hmm. Yes. Perhaps the most beautiful plane ever designed, canceled by the Canadian government in the early 60s. I know of it, of it because of Dan Aykroyd. Which was a fantastic movie yes. that they made uh, showcasing the, the, the story of this plane. What now, movie? The Arrow. Wasn't he just in the It was called The moment? Arrow? Yeah. Oh, I've yeah. never seen it. Sorry. It was a made-for-TV thing. Uh, yeah. Quite a while ago, back when the uh, our heritage commercials were on. I miss those. Mm. By the way, I fully I miss support the sacrilege this moment theory parodies of those. Because <laughs> my hometown made money off of the Arrow being canceled. Right. So we all know that mm. once the Arrow project was canceled and all of the engineers at, at, at Avro were out of a job, they all went down to the United States to work in the aeronautical industry, and they basically everything from... All the great jets of the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s are all because you – know, partly in, uh, because of these Canadian engineers that were working there, like the Space Shuttle F-14, F-16. All of these great planes were made by – in part by Canadian engineers. Now, the Arrow was canceled and replaced with a missile and an aircraft, both from the United States. Uh, there's been many, many conspiracy theories out there, but last night doing some research, I found a new one, and I really like this one, is that – well, the, if you do the research, the real reason the Arrow was canceled, was, it wasn't the plane itself. The plane worked. It was the engines. The, the development of the engines was behind. They were over budget. They were over time. And the airplane was working with substandard engines. The plane didn't work right. So the real reason the engines canceled was – or the engines failed was due to uh, industrial sabotage by American manufacturers who could not stand a competitor. And that at the same time that the Arrow was canceled, the British Back to Lightning was canceled, the uh, North American uh, XF-108 Rapier was canceled. All of these great uh, planes all at almost the same time all shut down the, their research and they all bought planes by other companies. So they say it, was in, it wasn't government sabotage. It wasn't a government conspiracy. It was industrial sabotage. That, that makes sense. Hmm. It kind of uh, does. The conspiracy I heard was that it was canceled because they used some alien technology in the, in, in the, the manufacture of it. Mm, uh, I think I like I Fred's heard. explanation a little bit better. <laughs> well, his is more plausible. But, well, but cool. the you saboteurs were alien lizard people, right? <laughs> there you <Absolutely>. go. <laughs> but this kind of, of, the the this kind of conspiracy yeah. happens all the time. It's actually, I mean, it's it's capitalism. Yeah. Straight up yeah. capitalism. What is it? Uh, corporate espionage? Corporate espionage. And yeah. it happens all the time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, there's a whole uh, issue with uh, Nikola Tesla and, oh yes, oh, yeah. Edison. free Edison. energy, yes. and and the whole reason, like essentially, Edison realized you couldn't make money off of it. You couldn't or, meter it. Yeah, so uh, he kind of spent his fortune to kind of discredit mm. and and. Edison was a bully. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Well, and Edison, he hired thugs. Oh, his yeah. hands down. He also wanted to use an inferior form of power transmission to yep. write current power because it would require a, 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 a substation. Yeah. Every two or three blocks or something ridiculous like that. Which he would have the patent on, and he would have to create and maintain. Oh yeah, he was just you know looking at the dollar signs. Yeah. He he used to um, bring animals oh, and, and geez, torture the them and electrocute them to show how dangerous yeah. Tesla's power was and everything. Um, There's a video, sadly, about an elephant. Yeah, yeah. That's I've never seen. That. I do not want to. I don't ever want to I've see heard that. I will cry. Horrible, horrible we, will not, we will not be linking to that. No, now. no, 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 no. We will no, no, not no, no, be no. linking to it up here. There'll be nothing here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, link to fuzzy bunnies here. <laughs> yeah, but Mark, ex- but speaking speaking of free power, what were you and I talking about yesterday? Your place? 
We were talking about pharmaceuticals. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> X nay on the pills, eh? <laughs> Was the conversation along the lines of, hey, look what I found. Perpetual well, motion machine. We were talking about, I mean, this comes down to another uh, money thing, too. Like, uh, the pharmaceutical companies uh, making more money keeping people sick rather than curing them. So a mm. treatment for the disease is far more uh, profitable. Yeah, so let's a, say cancer has has actually uh, been cured, but the large corporations are keeping on the rafts because they make more money from being sick and on meds your entire life. Mm-hmm. Think about it. If they said we cured cancer, think of the money they would get from that in the first place and their name brand there's, being out there. There's a really interesting documentary. It's out on Netflix and it's called... Uh, uh, Don't take a zeitgeist. No, no, no. no. Good. Dr. Sperzinski, uh, I think his name is. Um, that they supposedly, plausible. they suppo- he supposedly found a not a hundred percent cure for cancer, but it was like around a 70 percent cure, which is it was all homeopathic. Good. Wait, wasn't no. that a Sean Connery movie? Oh God, homeopathy. We we'll talk about that here in a minute. <laughs> That's a show in itself. Uh, and. I wouldn't say it's a conspiracy. Well, it's a conspiracy taking yes, money. No, nothing. well, with the homeopathy show, we can just record like a two-minute thing and just stretch it across and then leave it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be one second clip over five hours. Uh, okay. Anyway. The uh, most effective show ever. Essentially what it is is things like that nature, you, when you think about it, I mean, sure, it makes a whole lot of sense. It is far more profitable to keep people sick. Mm. It just is. You can't really deny that. Does that make it? So, does that make it true that the pharmaceutical companies are doing that? No, because that's not really evidence that they're doing that. That's not that's not enough to convince It's me. just well, motive. And this is where most conspiracy theories come from. It, it's mm-hmm. people thinking up of th- things and saying, well, that's very, that's very, very plausible. Yeah. Therefore, it must be true. Or, uh, well, hey, on a, on a funny note, mm-hmm. uh, <laughs> Mad TV did a really good skit about the, uh, the president wakes up six years into his two terms to find that he's been drunk the whole time and he blacked out and doesn't remember what happened. <laughs> and and his, his aide is letting him know what he's done while he's been out drunk. And it's like, well, you cured cancer. Really? How did I do that? Easy. You took 10 of the heads of the world's biggest corporation and gave them all cancer. Within six months, we had nine different cures. <laughs> <laughs> no, see, that that's, that's one thing there. The proof that there's no cure for cancer is that Steve Jobs died of cancer. Hey, mm. there you go. Perhaps we can get back into it here by <laughs> bringing up another topic. I yes. have one, uh, and this is a, a big one, actually. It's called the Philadelphia Experiment. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Um, and for those Mark's confused. I know I heard this one before. I don't remember what it is exactly. I was confused when Andy said he had one, and it was a big one too. <laughs> Again, that's, um, that's fear. So essentially, it's it's the whole thing is uh, kind of based on a, a, a thing supposedly discovered by Albert Einstein called the unified field theory. Mm-hmm. Uh, essentially, it's a way to kind of uh, uh, if if you kind of. It bends light yeah, around an object. Essentially, you can make something invisible is what they were trying to do. Yeah. Yeah. Cloaking device. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, and, and the whole thing is they were experimenting with uh, one of the, the ships, uh, the USS Eldridge, uh, was essentially fitted out for this big experiment, uh, and they were trying to make it invisible to radar and, and uh, things like that. Um, and the, the, the whole s- the conspiracy theory goes is that during one of the tests, it was actually completely vanishes. Um, and it, what people report seeing like a greenish fog in, in its place. And when it came back, uh, some of the crew had gone insane. Other ones had kind of become fused with bulkheads and all sorts of stuff like that. Yeah, like they're uh, half teleported uh, through something. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, a lot were missing, were they not, too? So yeah, some were yeah. completely missing. Uh, one of the other ex- uh, experiments done with the same ship apparently says that it disappeared completely and teleported like halfway across the country. Mm-hmm. Uh, now, that's the one I heard that and, it went and to was, a different was apparently. Spot. Uh, uh, seen by people uh, it, where, where, where it teleported to and then it came back afterwards and the similar thing where people one guy actually apparently was halfway fallen through a deck uh, where half of them was on one half was on the other hmm. uh, things like that so uh, realistically apparently there was this this type kind of testing being done except it was for uh, uh, there was large generators on these, these ships to degauss the hull mm-hmm. to kind of uh, uh, make them immune to the the magnetic mines uh, that would stick to the hulls. Oh, and okay. Them to, to repel mm. them away. That's an interesting. Yeah, nice. and apparently it's it's something that's in use. That's used. Uh, mm-hmm. they, they do that to the hulls to to, to stop that. Um, <laughs> even to this day, minesweepers have wooden hulls. Yeah. There mm-hmm. are no, there mm-hmm. are very few metal hulled mm-hmm. minesweepers for that very purpose because the magnetic mines. That there were a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was three point one. Remember that minesweeper? Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> that no, does no, remind no, me. Okay. Of um, 
the Bermuda Triangle, which is a big one oh, and yeah. one of the longest conspiracy theories. Yeah, things just disappearing in the Bermuda yeah. Triangle. It could be just a, an area of the planet that has a rather erratic weather patterns. Ooh, speaking mm-hmm. of that, take- apparently uh, uh, the Hudson Bay has, has like a giant gravitational anomaly in it. The Hudson. Yeah, mm. yeah. I was reading about that. Is, is this something that's actually is this a conspiracy theory or is no? This, this is fact. That's... Actually, this is a, a th- no. There might, there's probably some sort of theory conspiracy. Is it a gravitational thing or is it a magnetic thing? Uh, oh, maybe it's no. a big magnetic. I, pr- I, I, I could understand magnetic. That's pretty. Yeah, yeah and I think there's, common, there's, there's theory about uh, it being because of old glacial matter that was there and, and not there anymore, and it's the t- crust kind of <laughs> moving to. Mm. Or something like that. I don't, I don't know specifically. I only kind of perused it. Uh, this was unrelated to the research for the show today. Yeah. Uh, but well, the- magnetics can do some pretty crazy thing. Uh, see my article on Geek Lou about uh, flux pinning. Really huh? interesting stuff. I don't know if you've read that. Well, isn't the Hudson Bay partially near the magnetic North Pole? Yeah. It depends on the year, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. It does depend on the year. Yeah. Okay. I think the magnetic North Pole is near Greenland or under Greenland right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, it, it moves. Oh, because yeah, yeah. of the wobble of the Earth. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Right. And about the whole uh, magnetic thing, whenever we realized there was a technical well, difficulty, well, on this side here at least, mm-hmm. um, as you and I once again were saying yesterday about the whole uh, perpetual you know, motion motion machines and how basically it's the big government associations and the big power companies are stopping that from really happening. But people make them in their backyard all the time, except they never work. Mm. Right. Yeah. Perpetual motion machines. Yeah. This is one of those things, uh, and of course, if an engineer or a scientist... As you made the mistake of commenting on YouTube. Yes. For uh, shame. A big mistake. If you point out the reasons why this doesn't work, and the scientific reasons, the typical response is, uh, you're brainwashed. Mm-hmm. You're brainwashed yep. with science, Yep. apparently. You're which part of the problem. Just so incredibly frustrating when you... They brainwash me with science. Well, if you believe in your higher power, then you don't need science. And, you know, obviously science is just the devil's work tricking you. Indeed. Um, it, It... it brings up another one. I'm sure we've all heard the urban legend of the guy back in the 1950s who figured out how a car can run <laughs> off steam, and then regular somebody tap water. came. Yeah, regular tap water, yep. and somebody came from the big three mm-hmm. and bought up his patent or something. Yeah. Like bought that. up his patent, killed his children. However, the story goes, yes. there's different variations of it. Prevented yeah. him there's from the, ever yeah. making. There's the it. one of the guy who figured out how to dr- by drilling one extra hole in a carburetor, yes. you could make it go a uh, hundred miles. The hundred, yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Somebody, one, one of the big three, would have done that to their vehicles and outsold Once the again, other guys. The it money they would have made. Yes. Well, say, hey, our new whatever mm-hmm. does a hundred miles per the gallon. Because they're not in league with Exxon or, you know, they yeah. shell whoever else that we know of, at least. Mm-hmm. Maybe. <laughs> and it was, yeah, and they could have made a buttload of money on that. Um, yeah. Tying in with this as well, uh, going back to Tesla, uh, they're, one of the theories, conspiracy theories, is that he had this electric car thing that he did a demo of for the government where it was this mysterious black box that he put these cylinders into and they drove around this electric car all day, uh, all through the countryside and everything. And this is mm-hmm. back in, you know, what the... Early 1900s? Yes. Yes. Um, uh, and, and they were able to, to do this. Um, and, and, but nobody seems to know exactly what was the box was made out of and all that. Of course. Yeah. yeah. You know who knows? The pigeon. Yeah. Actually, that ties in with another... Uh, 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 Tesla's pigeon. Oh, okay. That he was in love with. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the 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 whole uh, essentially they think it might be some sort of form of wireless power transmission yeah. that was doing this, and that ties into another conspiracy thing uh, called HARP, uh, and I forgot to write down what HARP stood for. Um, it's H A A R P, um, and essentially it's kind of a, a, a there's a whole bunch or there's a base up in the Arctic. Crap, I forgot. I only wrote down half of this. I'm not sure where it is exactly, <laughs> but it's a, no, a field no where they're heating up the ionosphere. Yeah, there's like a giant 
uh, a radio transmitter yeah. uh, up there. And they, 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 there's theories that this might be tied in with some sort of Tesla technology um, to do this. And, and there's all sorts of different theories that they're using this for uh, for mind control or for uh, manipulating the weather, mm-hmm. uh, all sorts of different things. Uh, one of the worries is that it could trigger a cascade of electrons that will flip the north and south poles. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, Lord. And, and that one's kind of scary because the reversal of the pole's magnetic field has happened in the past, and it's something that happens. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that one is, is kind of has weight to it, uh, which will scare the crap. I think what they're actually doing, though, is pretty fascinating and scary also. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, there's also, I've heard people make similar complaints about shortwave radio stations and uh if anybody's ever been driving from New Brunswick to Nova Scotia, you've seen oh, the yeah. big shortwave thing. Uh, mm-hmm. People were always saying that that had to do with mind control. And, well, the best prevention for that is tinfoil hats for some reason, even though tinfoil people, would, works as an antenna. Or people who Wait think that it's uh, an you can get yeah. cancer from high-tension power lines and that mm-hmm. living near power lines will have or, health effects. Or the cell phones. I can't have this cell phone up to my head. Uh, because it will cause all sorts of problems with mm. me. And, but instead, I'll wear the Bluetooth headset. And that's better. That's better. Because that's better. Uh, the, well, there are people that transmission believe... power, yeah, technically is better because it's a short distance transmission. Yeah, From but... the Bluetooth, you're... I'm not advocating this in any way. I'm just pointing that out. Uh, there's also uh, people that believe that they can get sick from fluorescent lights. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, there are people that say that they hear a buzz from pretty much all lights. And there are people that live in what is known as radio-free zones. They are areas where there is no cellular, no radio, no wireless, nothing. Yeah, dead zones. Complete they're, they're awesome. dead zones. And they've cultivated communities because people feel that they get sick hmm. from all the wireless communications. Interesting. Mm. There well, was a... Oh, sorry. Last one. Yeah, last one. There was a uh, PTA in the States that is trying to shut down the wireless networks in the school because oh, they yeah. say their kids are getting sick from the Wi-Fi signal so that it's the, the, yeah, the, the wireless internet is, is giving their kids headaches. And mm-hmm. I almost forgot one of my favorites because my favorite conspiracy theories are the really outlandish ones. Back in the 90s, we got blue M&Ms. Why did we get blue M&Ms? That is is the government getting us used to eating blue food because we're eventually going to run out of natural resources and we're going to have to eat blue food. Wow. Alien food. Yep. Alien food. Alien food. That's why they're blue M&Ms. I kind of want to eat alien food just to say I ate alien food. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, We're going to wrap this up. Of course, everything we said on today's program should be taken with a grain of salt. Uh, Do your research, folks. Don't trust anything you see on the internet. Not even know, especially no, us. Especially us. If any of this turns out we, to be true, we don't know which one it was, leave us alone. Know also, the difference between a secondary and a primary source. Yes. Trust no. And did you was that what you were gonna say? What? You just, you said also and then you stopped. I I don't remember. Yeah, you might want to the, take the that thought hat was off. removed. <laughs> they're getting they're getting to him. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna close it with these epic words here. I just uh, looked up what we were we were talking. It's really short. Uh, Something from, from Robert Stack. Dan Brown. Uh, and the Da Vinci Code. Everyone loves a conspiracy. Mm. Or we could have mm. obey. <laughs> you will obey, mm. obey, obey. Sorry. Uh, who's obey? Wow. Dude, wow. Super. Yeah. Excellent. All right. Uh, we will see you again next week. Maybe. Cue the music. Hopefully. Wait, wait. I forgot my line. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 <laughs> Today we are talking about conspiracy. Oh my god, I blanked wow. on Wow. <laughs> just walk into Studio B is like looking at us all puzzled. There yeah. is Studio A and I don't think they noticed this yet, but this could get fun. Yeah. yeah. Is that Adrian? Yeah, it's Adrian. Wave. He's not Wait. looking yet. Okay. The main event. The main, the main event. event. The there conspira- it is. Everybody wave. <laughs> there we go. He's confused. <laughs> <laughs> Mission accomplished. Right. Basically, this episode Epic is brought to you by Reynolds Wrap. Link to something really awesome right here. Or up there. 
or over here. Epic.